What's up, yo? Welcome to my messy ass living room. I got some uh, targets set up down at the other end of the living room. I'm working from home today, so I wanted to get a couple shots off if possible. I'm not sure how many I'll be able to. I uh, I was loading one of the AEA mags for the 25 cal HPSS and it broke. So a little tab inside snapped off. So that mag is dead. I got this one mag here to work with. I have another mag somewhere that I modded, but I can't find it. So unfortunately I'm stuck with this one. So we're gonna see what we could do now. Right now I have about four shots in this mag. This is with the 25 grain JSB Kings. I also have four shots loaded into the Hats and Sorty um, 25 cal mag, and that's the JSB Kings too. Um, I have a gel block, that, that clear gel block I set up, or well, I made earlier, earlier this week, last week, and I made it. And I have that set up down there, so I'm going to try to at least get a couple shots into that. I've got a target set up down there too, so that way I could see where I'm hitting and then possibly put a shot into the gel. I might you know, we'll, we'll see how this, this works. I'm not sure how many shots I'm going to be able to get off. I want to try some Hornets and some Hades as well, and possibly some of the heavier pellets like the Barracudas and the, and the um, King Heavies, but we'll just have to pretty much play it by ear, see what we could do, see how loud everything is. If possible, I'll bring out the 177 um, sortie and, and maybe the 30 cal, HPSS, but I just wanted to get the, at least a couple shots from the 25 cal. I tried to do this last week with a uh, gel block, that, that three-month-old gel block I had, but it wasn't happening. You couldn't even see through it anymore. It was so cloudy, you know, so I made this. Let's see what we could do with this. You know, it's uh, about 1030, 1036, whatever that, that, you know, whatever that says right there, so, you know, let, let, let me see what I could do. Let me get the cameras recording down there, and let's see if we can get a couple shots off. All right, so I'm back again. Got all the cameras set. I got three cameras set up down there. Hopefully, I don't hit any, but we'll find out. And I think right now, this is at about 24 MPA. Like I said, I have four um, JSB Kings loaded. This is going to take a while because... After I put a shot onto the clay, because I have the slow motion camera set up there, it takes about four or five, you know, maybe two or three minutes. I'm not sure. I never timed it. But it takes a few minutes for the slow motion camera to record um, the whole shot into the block. So, you know, I'm not sure what the clock's going to look like by the time we finish, but I want to get, these are the JSB, King, uh, JSB Kings, the 24 grain, the 25 grain ones. So let's... Uh, Let's see if we can get a shot off on here. I got the little controller to control the slow motion cam down there, so I don't have to get my ass up off the couch. So let's see. Uh, let's see how this does. Well, I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm gonna go down and take a look. I'll be right back. All right, so that was the first shot. Completely missed the gel block. I am about only like three to four yards away, probably probably around 10 to 11 feet. So in between, probably that three and a half yards away. And I shot low, it hit the little plastic thing that the gel block is sitting on. So I'm gonna take another shot. I just gotta, I don't even know where the point of aim is on this. I didn't even pay attention like I should have, but let's, um, Let's see if I can actually hit the gel block this time. I think I'm going to shoot just probably above it. Let's see. Let's see how that did. I definitely hit the gel block. It was a little on the higher side, but let's. I'm going to go down and check it out. I'll be back. All right, so I did hit the gel block on that one. It was a little on the higher side. I did hit it. We did capture it in slow motion. So, and unfortunately, 
I forgot to take the mag out before the other shot. So I took the mag out. I still have one more king in the breach here. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to fire into that gel block. We'll see if I can get it at least center this time. And then um, and we'll go from there. That one was low. Hopefully I captured it. I think I hit the button a little late, but we'll see. I'll be back. All right, so back again, of course. Um, hit a little low on that second HPS that shot there, too. I did hit the block, but it, I could see that it hit the um, little plastic container it's sitting on more towards a little past the middle of the block. It, you know, because of the angle I'm shooting, it did hit the, the container. It did stop in the block, but, you know, let's uh, move on. So now I have the 25 cal hats and sortie. I got four shots of the... JSB Kings just loaded up. Hopefully I don't have to shoot them all. Maybe I could hit the, the gel block center this time. Now this mag wants to give me a problem. Here we go. I'll be back. Wow, this video is scuffed already right from the jump. But I got the mag. I had to go grab the screwdriver and just tighten the screw. These screws I'm going to have to lock tight down too because basically every time I use this, these screws get loose. This clear plastic piece, you know, starts popping out and it won't fit in the, the little breech right here. So I just tightened it down. We got it loaded. Let's see if I can um let's see if I can hit at least close to the center of that gel block. Let's find out. So that one shot low. I'm gonna remove the mag. I have one one pellet in the breach. It's on safe right now. So I'm just going to go down, check the cameras, make sure that it, it's recording. And then I'm going to take another shot and hopefully I can get it close to the center. So I'll be right back. Yeah, I hit low on that one too. It didn't hit the plastic. I did uh, get it into the gel block. I, I'm still zero for zero. Of zero for how many shots? I had zero for three to hit dead center in that, that gel block. So, again, I got one more JSB King in the breach here. I did pull the mag out. So, let's see if I can get this one uh, get this one in the center of the, the gel block and, and catch a good one. Let's see. That one looked a lot better. So, I'm going to, again... Go down, stop this, go down and check it, make sure that the slow motion camera's catching it. And I'm gonna, you know, grab the next set of uh, uh, pellets. So those are, are gonna be the H&N uh, Hornets with those little gold points, so I'll be back. All right, so. That last shot was good. Got it captured. It was actually a good capture, so that was good. I don't know how the other, you know, the other two or three look, but we'll we'll find out when we review the videos. But so what I have next is I have H and N Hornet. I have four of them in here. Hopefully I won't need that many. You know, I'll probably just use two. So let's get this loaded up. And um let's see how these do. Let's see if I again, let's see if I can get it center. on fire that was low so let me uh so 
We have one in the breach for the next shot. Let me go check those cameras. All right, so that was the first H&N Hornet shot. Let's go for the second shot. Again, no mag in. There is a Hornet in the breach. So center block. Let's see if I can do it. Much better. Almost looks like it went into the same hole, which I don't want to do. You know, the same hole as the, the, um, the JSB King, but... Let's at least go down and take a look. Okay, so nice center shot. You know, the uh you know you can see the little point off the the hornet that it actually separated from the actual pellet and the pellet flattened out a little bit. It actually looks like a um a wad cutter in that in that gel block right now, but that's beside the point. Right now, it's sortie time with the Hornets, you know, so let's see, uh, let's see what we could do with these. Here we go. Nice center shot. I've moved it over to the right a little bit just to see if I can get it off of those, uh, other wound channels or whatever it's called, but um, let's check them out. All right, so one of my cameras, the battery is going to die already. I, I forgot to shut it off in between, in between shots. Oh, shit. Forgot to take the fucking mag out. That's weird. Let's uh, let's put another shot on that gel block. I had four. I have four pellets in here for the sortie, and there's two left. So I'm not sure if there's still a a shot in the breach. I'm about to find out. Let's see. There was. Did I miscount? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I'll be back. All right. So I didn't miscount. I just actually hit a good shot with that last um, Hornet out of the sortie. So it kind of threw me off that I actually hit it where I wanted to on the first shot. I did put the second shot in, so we have that one uh, recorded as well. So now we're going back to the uh, HPSS. We are now at about, I'd say about 22 MPA, 20, yeah, 22, 22 and a half MPA. And oh, let me uh, reload that. And I just loaded this with, I got two JSP Hades in there. Let's see if we can... So I got two in the mag. We're at that 22 MPA. Everything said I just swapped the um, battery on one of my cameras down there. So let's see if uh, I don't know if that camera's recording. The screen just went out. I'll be right back. All right, we we were not recording. So now that's set. I think you know. Again, this is the HPSS 25, has the uh, JSB Hades loaded into it now. I got a feeling the Hades are going to go through this gel block. These things hit pretty hard. They have some good penetration, at least in gel blocks that I've shot before. They're kind of in that middle range of hollow points and, and solid pellets. So enough talking. Let's see what this thing will do. Go check it out.
Okay. Hades proved me wrong. So it made it maybe about halfway through the gel block, stopped around the same place where the uh, the Hornets are stopping. So I thought it was going to go further, at least, you know, similar to the uh, to the Kings. Again, wrong, you know. So I got one more Hades loaded up in here, loaded into the breach. I'm going to take another shot. You know, it, it kind of hit almost the same wound. Uh, the same wound channel is is one of the other shots, so hopefully I can get a, a cleaner shot, but yeah, this thing maybe made it through about yeah, about half the gel block. So let's uh let's take this second shot here. All right. Let's see how we do now. All right, well, that was kind of interesting. So, you know, again, that was the Hades out of the HPSS at 25. Made it about halfway through the gel block. Landed in the same same place as the, uh, as the Hornets, but it was the, it, the same place as the Hornets from the sortie. You know, so it's, it's kind of weird. Like, the Hornets from the sortie actually went further than the Hornets from the HPSS, but the HPSS, the Hornets actually opened up. They expanded. They lost their little points with, you know, a different direction. You know, and, and, and the Saudi Hornets went maybe an extra inch or two. I'd probably say an inch. I don't know. I don't have a ruler down there, but about an inch or so further. So, all right, enough of that. I have the Hades with the 25 cal Saudi. So, let's see, uh, let's see what we could do with this. Everything's set, ready to go. Let's see if we can get a couple good shots. I'm wondering if this spring is moving in here again. I don't know. We'll find out. But looks like a good hit. Looks like I hit a another you know spot where other pellets hit are pretty close. So you know, let's go take a look. All right, so that one's done. So now we're done with the Hades. We did the Hades out of the HPSS, out of the sortie. They went about the same distance into the gel block, but out of the HPSS, they did expand a bit more, a little bit more. But anyway, let's move on. So now I have the H&M Barracuda, it's a 31 grain. This here is now at about 21 MPA. So let's see what we can get with these. And um, let's find out. That one went through. I saw it hit the wood behind it, unless it, you know, uh, curved out of there. But, you know, that's kind of what I expect out of the heavier pellets. You know, they, they do penetrate a lot. A lot more. I actually like them a lot more. So let's go check it out. All right. So, yep, it did penetrate. Taking the mag out. I have one more shot in the breach with the the uh, H and N. Barracudas. Let me go start that other camera. Hold on, I'll be right back. <sighs> Sorry about that. Forgot. I have to shut that one off every time because um, you know, it just sucks the battery. If I leave it recording for about 20 minutes, it's dead. And as you can see, it's almost 11:30. We we've been doing this for at least a half hour, 40 minutes already. So let's get this uh this last Barracuda shot out of the HPSS. Again, it is going to penetrate. I, I think it's going to go all the way through. And let's find out. It did. 
And we are now down to 20 MPA on that. So I'm not even going to refill it because I only got two more shots. That's what the... Uh, with the JSB King Heavies, those 34 grain ones. But for now, let's just uh, go see what this did. All right, so next up, Hats and Sortie with the H&M uh, Barracudas, the 31 grain ones. So, I'm just checking this. I just I was just making sure that the the barrel wasn't moving. I mean, that's the 25 cal. That thing's been pretty solid, except for me breaking the you know, except for the mag breaking this morning. I didn't. I was loading it and taking the pellets out, and it just snapped a little. You know, the little uh, tab that stops that little rotating piece from rotating. So, you know, I'll end up showing you probably a picture of that and then reaching out to AEA to see if I can get a replacement mag because, I mean, the cheap plastic, that thing's going to break, you know. So, but anyway, enough babbling. We got the uh, H&N Barracudas loaded up in the, into the sortie. Let's see what we can get here. I don't know if these will penetrate. I don't know if this is strong enough, but we're about to find out. I don't think it did. I, I couldn't find the controller. It was in the wrong spot. It moved a little. But I don't I don't I didn't hear that one go through. So let's go down and check and, and see what we got for results. Alright, so that last shot, H and M Barracuda out of the sorty. It basically ran right up the ass of another pellet there. I might even went into the same hole because the point of this Barracuda is actually in the skirt of, I think it's one of the uh, JSB Kings. So I got one more shot. Let's see what we can do here. All right, that, that third camera, second camera is, is recording. I didn't see the light flashing, but let's, let's see. I'm going to try to hit. Nope, it ain't. Let me uh, go turn that on. All right, there we go. You know, like I said, that battery's fucking dead already. I just charged the shit, and it's... That camera sucks. Not my slow motion camera, though, the Canon that I got down there. So let's see if I can catch a shot here. This is the Barracuda. That camera's pissing me off. I just swapped the battery out of it, and now it's, it's flashing dead battery already, you know? So... That's the second Barracuda shot. Let's go check that one out. All right. So, you know, I, I, I think I see where that pellet went. Like I said, it didn't go too far. So what I'm going to do is I have these uh, JSB King Heavies now. I'm just loading the two shots into the mag. So this is the uh, AEA mag. Let's get the two into the sortie. So I think the AEA is now down to under 20 MPA. I wanted to fill it, but I don't think that's happening. Can we see? Yeah, it's about 20 MPA. Yeah, right at, right at 20. So let's get these shots. I don't think I'll be doing the... The 177 or the 30 cal. I mean, that thing is torn up down there. It feel like I'm hitting the same hole, you know, regardless of where I aim. So the pellets are just stacked on top of each other. But, you know, it's almost like it's not even a fair a fair thing because there's there's so many spots that are basically hitting right, right on top of each other. So let's see if we can get this JSB King Heavy through. But we're going to get it through. It's going to penetrate there. So 
let's just see if I can find a, a clean spot to, to hit on the gel block. So safety's off. Let's do this. I can hear it rolling around on the little plastic container down there. So mag out. Second, uh, second pellet in the breach. Let's go see what happens. All right, so we know the King Heavies will penetrate with that. The slow motion camera battery is almost dead, and that's that's a pain in the ass to. Um, that's actually a pain in the ass to take it apart, get it set back, you know, put the ba new battery in, get it back into the same position, get everything replugged back in. So I'm just going to go straight to the hats and sortie with the JSB King Heavy. I'm just trying to hear if there's someone in the hallway. Again, I'm in a condo complex, so, you know, kids are at school and stuff. Hopefully parents are working. I think they are. So let's get this, this shot off. Let me go turn on that other camera again. Hold on. That other camera's a pain in my ass, you know. I'm on the third battery. So, all right, enough talking. Let's see if we can capture this last little motion here. See if I could find a spot I could put this. Hopefully that did good. We'll, we'll go down and find out. Oh, shit. I forgot. I got shots in both of these breaches now. Fuck, that ain't good. You know what I mean? So hopefully these batteries will last for two more shots because then I think I'm going to go back to the HPSS, run that second shot through, back to the sortie, run that shot through. So let's let's see if we can get at least two more shots. Hopefully the slow motion camera will hold out for us for two more shots. And and, and let's just let's see if we can catch him. Okay. So with the sortie, the heavier pellets, no pellets penetration at all none you know with this we've at least got the heavier pellets of 30 grain or higher pellets through so i have one more shot in the breach i'm pretty sure so let's get this uh that fucking camera hold on All right, so everything's set. Let's uh, let's see if we can find a spot. You're recording. Yep. And that's that. Decocked. Breach is empty. Uh, let's see where we're at. So we are just under 20 MPA, 19 and a half MPA. So let me go make sure that's recording. Shut off that other camera so I can save the battery for one more shot. And then, uh, and then I think we'll wrap it up. Right, again, full penetration on that last pellet, JSB King Heavy out of the HPSS. You know, it's actually hitting that back board. I have a, a I think it's a three quarter inch board behind there. You know, some plywood wrapped in duct tape with targets all over it. And it's putting bigger dents in it than it, you know, the same, you know, than the, um, than the H&N Barracudas, you know, shooting out of the same gun. So it looks like those, those King Heavies are hitting pretty hard down there, but, Enough of that. Let's uh, 
get this last shot fired out of the sortie with the King Heavy and get that recorded. So let's do it. And there it is. So that's the last shot. The sortie started at 200 bar. We are now, I don't know if we can see this. It's kind of dark in here. So, right about 160 bar now. Let's just make sure safety's on. Safety's on. So, I'm going to go check those, make sure that's recording. Um, I'm, if, if there's batteries on the slow motion camera, I'm trying to think I might try to get well, maybe one or two more shots, try something different. I'll refill the, AA, the HPSS. There's no point in what I want to do next with the sortie. The sortie's not strong enough to put a pellet through that gel block. So, you know, but I want to, I want to see what the, the HPSS does to the set of targets, or at least the target that I have up next. So I'll be right back. All right, so move the camera, move the slow motion camera down there, put a new battery in it because that thing turned red uh, on that last shot. So I think we were able to capture everything. You know, I'm hoping that there's still space on the card. I hope there was space on there anyway. I'll be pissed if it wasn't. I think, I can't remember which one of these cameras that will it'll say it's recording even though there's no space. So I'm hoping this whole morning wasn't a waste. As you can see, we've been out here, it's almost 12. So, you know, this is how long it takes to get slow motion shots. But I wanna try at least a couple more things. So right now I have a little, you know, a little pouch made out of denim. I stitched it up myself. Look at that hack job. Don't be hating. So, but what I got in here is I have some Kevlar. So I have, I can't remember how many sheets, one, two, three, six, 12. So I have six sheets of Kevlar folded four times. So it makes, you know, 24 layers of Kevlar. And this is 3A, you know, um, whatever that means. I can't remember. I think it'll stop a nine mil, you know. So I want to try this, you know, just to see what will happen with the pellets. You know, I have a clean side. I've, I've shot into this before months ago, but I got the clean side and, you know, we'll put it through a layer of denim. There's two layers actually. So we'll, we'll try that. Let's just see what happens. I mean, I got a couple more minutes. I refilled the HPSS. Let me get this set up. Let me, hold on. So I got that set up right there. I should put a little target on there just so I know where to hit. Um, let me stop this. I'll be right back just so I can get that set so I know exactly where I'm hitting. All right, done. So let's see what's up. So again, I filled the HPSS up back to 24 MPA. It's the highest I can get. My tank needs, you know, it's getting empty again. So, you know, fill that up. I have two shots in here. I have a Hornet, and I think it's a JSB King Heavy. So let's see what the Hornet does first to the denim and the Kevlar, the 24 sheets. Let's see if it, if it makes it through. I don't know if it will. I have, you know, shot the, the Hornet into the Kevlar where it was 12 layers and it made it through, but that was with the Hats and Vectus and not with this. So let's, let's see what we could do with this. I got the slow motion set up. Let's see if we can capture anything here. I don't know. I have one more shot in here. It's the King Heavy. It looks like the slow motion camera is going down there. You know, again, I got my little remote here, so I don't have to get up. I could just hit the button and it'll start capturing what I just what I just recorded. So I'm going to go check that. Let me go grab that.
yeah, that definitely took longer than I expected to walk across the living room. I just moved the light. The slow motion camera was really dark, but that's where I hit. I think I was aiming about just above it, but that's where it it didn't go through. Let's check the Kevlar. So the Kevlar's got a nice little ding in it. Let's get this Hornet out of here. And the Hornet is a pancake. I don't know if this will focus on it. Whatever. So the Hornet is a pancake. Someone's trying to call me fucking spam callers. Like, what the fuck? Leave me alone. But that's it. It flattened. It flattened right out, right out. Maybe if it stops recording my face. But that's what happened there. So I might try it again. I do have, I'm going to put this back in here. I do have the second shot loaded. <clears throat> that's the, um, the King Heavy. So I might try a Hornet again because, like I said, this was really dark. I might even take this out. We know it's not going to get through the denim, so let's just toss that shit. We're going to put this up by itself. All right, I'm going to stop this here. I mean, I'm probably going to edit those little dead spaces out, maybe. But I'm going to go get the light set up so that way it's right up on the target. And hopefully we'll be able to catch what's going on. All right. Back again to this scuffed-ass video. I got one more shot in here. It's that uh, JSB King Heavy. I did set up another light down there so that that little, you know, the, that piece of Kevlar is pretty lit up. I do want to try a Hornet again, even though we saw a pancake, but I want to see, you know, see it actually get caught into that Kevlar. So let's, let's take this shot, see if I can capture this. I think this is going to bounce back a little bit towards me. You know, no energy left in it, but it is probably going to bounce about three or four feet. That's what it did with the Vectus. Everything I'm going on is what I did with the Vectus back last winter. So slow motion set. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's uh let's go check it out. All right. So I captured that, but what sucks is I think the light I'm using is a LED flashlight type of light, so there might be some flashing going on through, you know, through the cordon. I saw that happen when I was working on the sortie before, but now that I got that right up on it and it's going in slow motion, I'm not sure how it's going to look. But I wanted to show you what happened to that, that heavy. This is that JSB King Heavy right there, just complete mushroomed, flattened out when it hit that, uh, hit that Kevlar. So we're going to try it again. I got two more shots. I got a Hornet again. I, don't, I, I really don't know how bad this is going to look with that LED light down there because you can actually see flashing, you know, um, when it's being recorded. So it might be more like a strobe light effect. I, I have no idea. We're going to figure this out together when I, well, I'm going to figure it out and then see how bad it looks. And then if I post it, we'll, we'll all see how bad it looks. So back again, have uh, H&N &N Hornet in here. Kevlar set up, slow motion camera set up. Third camera's not, hold on. It is now, but I could I could see it flashing on the screen on the slow motion camera already, so I think this is gonna be worse looking than you know, than, than I expected, but 
let's at least get this shot in. Let's at least capture it. Hopefully we'll be able to to see the results and it won't be too distorted or too fucked up looking. So let's let's see what we could do. I have one more shot in here. And it's an H&N uh, Barracuda, 31 grain. So, you know, I'm going to give that a shot. And, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to capture that. And then, again, we'll see how bad it looks on the slow motion camera because the only light I have that can light up the front of that, that piece of Kevlar is a, like an LED, um, you know, a flashlight, a LED flashlight. So let's check this out, and I'll be right back. All right, so we have one shot left. This is going to be my last shot. Maybe, <laughs> you know, it's going to be the uh, H&M Barracuda that's already loaded in the breech. Slow motion camera's still going, but I just wanted to show you the uh, the Kevlar. So that's the uh, H&M Hornet I just fired. Did not make it through. It's right there. Not even the point. That thing is smooth right there. And I just pulled it out. Whoop. And again, just a pancake like the other one. So the point's still there. Kevlar stopped it dead. So I'm gonna put this, go set this up, uh, set this back up down there. See what the, uh, see how. Bad the Barracuda gets flattened out when it hits this. So again, 24 layers of this 3A, you know, uh, Kevlar. It's 12 layers each, each piece. So you can see I have, you know, a couple uh, sheets stuck together. So I'll be right back. All right. So yeah, I think that LED flashlight it, it's gonna make the make it look like shit. So. I just removed it. I tried to put the ring light as close as I can without getting too much reflection off of the Kevlar. I don't know what the fuck that is. I'll be right back. All right, that was FedEx. Shit wasn't even for me. They're just ringing bells because he's got a bunch of fucking packages for someone on the top floor. So that's taken care of. Again, H&M Barracuda. Let's see what we can do to the Kevlar. Everything's set up. Everything's ready to go. Let's do this. All right, let's see, see how that looks. All right, so just had to jump in and send an email out to a, you know, to one of our clients that, you know, I'm trying to see if I can deliver their system to them tomorrow, you know, or, or am I going to ship it, send it UPS or whatever, but that's beside the case. That's not what we're here to talk about. So I got everything going down there. This was the last shot, the H&M uh, Barracuda, as you can see, it's still stuck in the, the Kevlar. And this didn't go anywhere either. And this also flattened out like a pancake. I don't even know where the lens is. Where are you, lens? Boom, right there. So that's, so if I put this here, okay. So that's, that's that one. So we still have a little fill left on here. We're down to like 22 MPA. I want to set this Kevlar up again and, and give the JSB... King Heavy another another chance because like I said I shot it you know it was dark when I shot it it was not a lot of light it had the the gene material over it so we couldn't I don't even know if we'll be able to see it so I'm gonna try that again I might even do a Hornet again one more time you know j just the third camera battery is about to die again so let me get this set up and I'll be right back all right so that's set let's do I 
That's the King Heavy. Do I have another Hornet laying around? Yeah, I do. Let's see if we can get two more. You know, I got that thing recording down there, so let's let's see what we can do. This is the King Heavy. Duh. Gotta load the mag first before you fucking get a pellet to shoot out of the fucking thing. Wow, rookie mistake. But, all right, now let's see if we can uh, put a shot on that. All right, safety on. The Hornet is loaded in the breach. So we're going to try one more after this, and then I, I do have to wrap it up. So I'll be right back. All right, so that was the JSB King Heavy. I did hit low. It hit the bottom, you know, uh, duct tape on that, that little box there. So the pellet bounced off. I'm not sure where it went. I'll probably find it later. So we got one more shot. This is the H&M uh, Hornet. I get everything going. No, I don't. That camera shut off on me. Hold on. So now it's the last shot. Let's see what this Hornet can do. Hopefully I can hit it dead ass center in that, that Kevlar. And, and let's see what's up. Hell yeah, dead center on that one. So let's decock that. And, you know, slow motion's capturing that now. The pellet, I could see the pellet stuck in the Kevlar. Let me go grab it. And there it is. There's that shot. So, again, nothing at all on the other side. There's that side. Nothing. And it pancaked again so Kevlar's doing its thing you know you got a couple of tiny little holes in there but nothing nothing came through nothing even made it pat yep and it's flexible this isn't no this ain't stiff you know there's nothing in there there's no metal nothing blocking it that's just straight Kevlar three sheets well actually six sheets there six sheets folded you know, folded in half, folded in half to make 12 layers. I did that twice and then stuck the 12 layers together to get 24 layers. So that's that's what this did, you know. I don't really have clothing material. I have some fleece and some, some denim. But the way I see it, if I put fleece and denim up there, then whatever we were getting on that gel block, take a few inches off for penetration, Ain't nothing going through the Kevlar here. So, you know, I think, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. You know, we've been going now for almost two hours doing this. You know, went through three batteries on one camera, a battery on the other. I think the GoPro was still actually going down there. I didn't even move that. So I think I was, uh, you know, I just left that the way it was to see if anything did get through the Kevlar. We'll be able to capture it, but there's nothing getting through that Kevlar. So, you know, I'll have to see what these videos look like. You know, I wanted to get the Hornet again because that actually made it through 12 sheets before. And it ain't making it do shit now. But I think I think this is it. So, you know, I think I'm going to wrap it up, pack it up, and I'll see y'all again soon. So before we ended this, I just wanted to show you the gel block. 
It actually did pretty good. It's wicked clear so we can see every pellet in there. So as far as that, it was pretty good. I wish I would have made it a little more firm with more gel or less water, but you know, you can see the pellets in there. You see the, you know, the, um, the hornets that are flattened out down in the bottom. There's the barracudas. There's that pellet I was telling you about that ran right up the skirt of the other one. And you can see the wound channels of the, uh, the other, the other pellets that just went right through there. So, I mean, there's that pellet right here. I don't know if my finger's in the way, but that one got flipped because it got hit. This one right here. Where's my finger? That one got flipped because it got hit as well. But, yeah, and this, you know, this, this, is, this gel block is pretty good for recording these videos. So, all right, I'm done babbling. I just sat there and babbled for a minute without saying a fucking thing. So, all right, that's it.